Hey, witches! Hi, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Iron Flame. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and apologize at the outset for my nasaliness. I know I always have a high-pitched nasally voice, but, like, it's extra bad today. Um, so, uh, get over Pollen it. levels are increased. <laughs> Pollen levels are pretty high right now in South Carolina, so I got some flim flim. <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing that a lot. Yeah, I just um, have this really bad habit, and I know this about me, but, like, sometimes I just don't – no, not sometimes. It's I don't listen to, to my body. Habit. Yeah, I just don't listen to my body, and I will push myself until my body's like, no, no, bitch, we're going to rest today. And that happened on Thursday night into Friday morning. And so I had to miss work on Friday, and I slept all day Friday and most of the day Saturday. And, yeah. But now we're finally going to talk about Iron Flame because, you <laughs> know, know, we've I had to like cancel had and to cancel read. and cancel. I had to not reread, but I had to, like, go back through. Stem, yeah. Like, Where was I? What I were we even talking about? Yeah, I saved like the last five pages. Like I still had one chapter to read, but it was only five pages. And I was like, I'm going to save this for the night before. So I kind of like it jogs my memory about what's going on. Yeah, I read this like three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, so I read this last night and I was like, oh, this is where we're at. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. So I might be a little confused. That's fine. But anyway, but so. Right at the out of this chapter, I'm cracking up because they're like so cats drift of flyers and fourth wing have been paired together for training and all of that and everyone is surprised except for violet and imogen's like i feel like you're the only one who isn't surprised and violet's like we're the strongest squad they're the strongest drift i don't know how the rest of you are surprised and i'm like honestly though like i don't know how you're surprised <laughs> Plus, well, and I think they're the only drift that's actually awake from the altitude sickness. Right. Plus, like, I mean, I know that they don't realize they're in a book. Like, it just got super meta for a second there. But, like, the drama of it means that they had to be together. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Some people are like, why are you getting so... <clears throat> not necessarily like sad emotional but like angry emotional or like so invested in these books and i'm just like because listen this is some drama that you don't get in real life um yeah and i actually saw a tiktok the other day you might have i don't think you sent it to me anyway it was if it was tiktok it was not me okay yeah i got i saw a tiktok the other day i think it was just on my for you page and it was talking about how um it was like, hey, millennials, what's our midlife crisis going to be? Oh, I feel like convertibles yeah. are over and I'm not cheating's not really my thing. So like, what's our midlife crisis going to be? And she like pulls out her books and she was like, I know it's it's not weird. It's not because she had like fey ears and like a crown. Yeah, and shit. I've seen that. She's like, I promise it's not weird. And I was like, <laughs> fair. I, I've seen a rendition of that where it was just like, we're book dragons now. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then she just has like two books balancing in her hands, and she's in front of like a huge, it's like a library. <laughs> yeah, library, and she's got like the fake ears. She's got like the dress on, and she's like, "We're book dragons now." Yeah, because we can't live in this world anymore. <laughs> yep. And I was like, like that oh. meme that I sent you that was like the girl jumped into the into the fairy ring, and she was like, "Let me in." <laughs> You know that guy who, um, when Barack Obama was president and there was, and he was like a black comedian and he was like in front of the White House and he's like shaking or he's like holding on to the fence and he's like shaking it and he goes, let me in. <laughs> that like meme that like circulated circa like 2016. Now, nah, well, I don't even remember when Barack Obama it's was 11, president. 11, to make a wish. Huh? It's 11, 11, make a wish. Okay. I got it. Wait. Okay. Me too. Okay. okay, I got it. Um, <clears throat> uh, that's that's how I feel. Whenever I see a fairy circle, I'm like, if I get into it to drop like a loaf of bread or like to drop some, <laughs> to drop some like offerings, is that like? Is Maybe that I'll bad? just slip through with it. 
<laughs> Hello, I am the offering. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you got this. <laughs> so I wanted to deliver it personally. Are you going to kill me now? <laughs> Yes, great. If you're gonna kill me, can you please send me back to my world and leave my body there? Yeah. So I can be an unsolved mystery. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Morbid, please cover my <laughs> <laughs> I would love oh it. Oh my god. I'll be yes. a, I'll be a ghost with fucking wings and like fey ears because that's how I died. And I'll be like, Yes, honey. <laughs> how did she die? <laughs> The You'll world never may never get know. it right. You'll never get it. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm um, sorry. That's our delusional for the morning. <laughs> yeah. This, that's probably not all of it, but we'll, we'll keep going. <laughs> um, so then they both, they like kind of all start talking shit about cat, like not talking shit, but like being feisty. I mean, cat's kind of deserving it. She's just staring eyes, narrowing at Violet from across the field. Like, I'm gonna kill this bitch. It's like, honey, what? Yeah, she and they're all like, it. Rhiannon's like, let's feed her to Segale, and then um, I'm sure Segale would love it. They all just keep going back and forth. Although Segale would probably spit her back out. She probably tastes bad. Probably. She would go with a hot <laughs> to. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <Yes, Aaron. laughs> <but, That's> Nick. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Um, but it keeps, it keeps getting, it keeps getting better because they're like, um, they just keep talking about it. So Sawyer's like, we could kill her. And then, um, she's like, we can't kill her. She's our squad mate, our squad mate. And then Sawyer goes, you sure? Say the word and we'll bury a body. We still have a couple hours before we're doing battle brief. And I just love that energy. Like, yeah. absolutely love it. Because I feel like those are the types of memes and shit we send each other back and forth all day long. <laughs> and yeah. they, she just, she has that too. Makes me happy for her. Yeah. The, um, and it, it's, it's nice because it's like, that's the energy you need to survive at Bizgaeth and like in this world, but it's not yeah. directed towards her, which is refreshing for her at least. Yes. <laughs> I also like, too, that, like, <laughs> everyone sees how nasty Kat is being, even Kat's best friend. Kat's best friend, Marin, goes, Kat, stop it. You're being ugly. I've told you over and over again. She didn't drop Luella. She fell. It's as simple as that. And it's like. Yeah, you're amazing. just being a bitch. Like, your best you're just friend being a bitch. Literally, yeah, your best friend told you nonstop what you're doing. Um. And then, like, literally the next page, first of all, Taryn and Andarna are also giving in their two cents because, of course, they fucking are. Wait, though. Wait. Right after that clapback <clears throat> from Marin, Violet has the greatest clapback of all time. And we cannot, we cannot forget this. We cannot forget this. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't remember which chapter it was in, but uh, Kat looks at Violet and goes, I know how good he is. Like, you know, or I taught him that little trick with that little finger thing. thing. Yeah. <clears throat> and Violet looks at Kat and goes, You're welcome to try to make me miserable. Oh, and one more thing. And she's like, What? That trick he mentioned, you know, with the fingers. And then like she slowly smiles. She goes, Thanks. <laughs> that was savage. <laughs> Cat's like, <gasps> well, you did tell her that you started it, so like, right, like, mm. kind of oh, yeah. okay. Anyways, Andarna, Taren, Violet, um, yeah, Andarna, and Andarna uh, and Taren are also like, or Andarna's like, I could eat him, I could use a snack, like, but where I was going with that is after that we learn that Sawyer is learning to sign. Because of one Jacinia. And I really like that that matchup. Me too. I like that signing is a big part in this and that everybody fucking knows it. Yeah. And that is so important. I think everybody needs to know that, but you know. Yeah, I really America. like I wish there was like a duolingo for sign language. Yeah, that would be dope to be honest. But I was, yeah. I 
saw Fee from across like the parking lot and I really had to go to the bathroom and she couldn't hear me and I wasn't trying to yell in front of like everybody outside like at work that I had to pee so I went like this to her and she's like huh uh, yeah and then I like signed I need potty <laughs> and yeah she just like looked at me again and I just like went like that I spell sign at people all the time at work and they're like because like yeah I forget like I'm not in the special education world anymore like so not everybody knows as much sign language and I'm I forget and they're like what and I'm like Ugh. When I got out of the bathroom, she goes, what the fuck were you doing? I was like, I was signing to you that I had to pee. And I wasn't going to stop and talk to you. And she goes, that's what that meant? And I was like, yeah, this means pee. I want pee. <laughs> <laughs> that is my two-year-old way of saying I need to pee. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, okay, cool. And I was like, so if we're ever working at PetSmart together or whatever, and you need to go to the bathroom, but you don't want to tell the whole fucking world, that's what you do. She goes, oh, okay. Yeah. I was speaking of PetSmart. We went there the other day, or I went there the other day to pick up an order. And the poor girl at the register, like, her radio wasn't working. And so she was trying to call someone to come help me with my pickup order because somebody had taken her iPad, so she couldn't help me. And, like, it was this whole thing. And I was just like, oh, my God. Emily talks about what a hot mess these places are all the time. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. My bestie works at PetSmart, too. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. I can go find someone else who works here. And she was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, no, it's not. Like, it's not your fault. And then, like, right at that moment, another person walked up. So it wasn't, like, an issue. But it was kind of funny. Because I was thinking about you while I was there doing that. Anyway. <laughs> this bitch talks about this all the time. <clears throat> anyway then yeah yeah then dane shows up fucking dane i still don't like him i know that like hold on but he's getting some points back for him yeah slowly but surely. i'm not saying i like him but i'm saying he's getting some points back he's just not my favorite like i think his personality like he he's like a chad like which is funny because <laughs> I actually have a really good friend named Chad who is not like a Chad at all, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he just, he's like a, I don't know, preppy goody goody. Yeah. Ugh. But, but he's getting some points back. Yeah. I literally good. wrote on page 475 no i want to keep hating dane <laughs> <laughs> because at the bottom of page 475 dane says are you in love well he says about rearson and she says be very careful with your words then he says are you in love with him because garrick and i heard the end of what he said in the interrogation chamber and trust me i might be in love with him after that declaration but are you really and truly and i was like Yes, because we all Dang. are, right? Like, we all fucking swooned at that moment. I had to go back and re read it. I was like, I just want to go back and reread that. I just want to read it again just to hear that declaration. And I was like, you know, Dan's eye is giving fanboy. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> he might also be in love with Dane. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be okay with it. Dane and Zayden, they're both attractive. I just, Dane just gets on my fucking nerves. Dane's attitude, yeah. Dane's attitude gets on my nerves, but yeah. The minute he opens his mouth, I'm like, no, <clears throat> you gotta right, go. You can stop. Yeah, no, no don't talk. Shh. <laughs> and that's <laughs> the end of chapter forty nine. Let me just look at you. You don't. You don't even need to open your mouth. Yeah, don't don't shh, shh don't talk don't talk. <laughs> chapter fifty. Um. Yeah. Listen, the they them representation that we got in this chapter was fantastic. Yeah. I it kind of 
It was subtle. It, it always is in these books. She's really good at that. Like, she doesn't make a big deal about it. She doesn't, like, announce it. She yeah. just puts it in there. Like, I, <clears throat> I didn't, I guess I didn't realize Heaton. Mm -hmm. Is it Heaton or is it Emery? Yeah, Emery. It's Heaton. Uh, it's Heaton? It's Heaton. It's Heaton. Um, but... The, like, the they, them is happening. And because I was like, when they, when they were talking about like, they did this or whatever, I was like, who? Who's they? Where's mm -hmm. they? And then I was like, oh, it's actually like one person. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Their voice breaks and they look away. That's what yep. it is. Yep. Yeah, so Heaton is a they then because their voice breaks and they look away. And it's even cooler in a book because, like, I feel like in real life, a lot of the times it's harder to not, not hard, but like it can be harder, especially if someone comes out to you after you've already known them one way for so long. Um, it can be harder to switch your pronouns which not that you don't try like you you figure it out and you make it happen but like um you might catch yourself a few times yeah but it's it's interesting because we have no idea like what their birth certificate says and that's awesome because it's it doesn't matter mm -hmm. I don't know. and then for the longest time i thought emory was female because that's like a nickname and that's like my gamer tag that I use in a lot of the like, well, and, games. Well, in um, Silver Flames, mm -hmm. Emery is I think a female. Emery in I here. think is actually like he, him, technically. But yeah, but I didn't realize that about Heaton. So, like, when I read that, I was like, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, also, still then, love Felix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah felix is great um <clears throat> so on 480 well 479 480 they're all basically talking about um what's kind of been going on in a way i guess um they hatched a dragon mm -hmm. and that meant that there is magic there's like a new veil starting basically um and, and anyone so around that and like, could have felt that pulse yeah um and they took uh let's see they they targeted pavis or pavis and they stayed there pavis is only what like a couple of hours flying from where they are located um, the that town Drathus. is only an hour's mm -hmm. flight east of Drathus yeah so they're like coming for them and it's like of course they are that you are like obviously hot spot <laughs> right now like you are magical real estate for them yeah. And I just, the audacity of you not realizing that until right now is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And this is where. Well, she is nothing if not a little bit oblivious. <laughs> True. This is why I like these books because I get mad at them. <laughs> yeah, I like it books that make me feel like things. <laughs> <laughs> Real life doesn't do that. Ugh. Sometimes it does, real but like too much, impression. too real. Exactly. <laughs> it's much easier. We don't like her <laughs> to be angry at fictional characters than to have to be angry at real people. Because when I'm angry at real people, like there, there has to be like real life repercussions, and I just don't want to fuck like, with it. I can't it punch a book character. Right. 
I could go yeah. up to the person. I could punch them. <laughs> yeah. This is I haven't less, ruled it out. <laughs> yeah. This is a less likely uh, way for me to not go to jail. Yeah. Exactly. Um, chapter? Yeah. 51. Chapter 51. Chocolate cake. It's so sweet. So she's going to find Zayden because, you know, he's blaming himself for all of their problems and all that kind of stuff. So she goes up to where he's at and brings him chocolate cake. I don't know. I am a emotional eater. So if I was like sitting somewhere depressed and Brittany walked up with chocolate cake, I would probably burst into tears and then eat the entire piece of chocolate cake. But I completely forgot about chocolate, like the, the whole point of chocolate cake in this chapter. For some reason, I thought it already happened. And I was like, what? Chocolate cake. I was sitting here like, what? Why does it say chocolate cake? And I didn't want to like read real fast because then I was going to forget, like lose what you said. Um, now I remember. Then something huge happens. Um, they find out that one of the original words that Violet translated was incorrect. Um, Listen, I you said this. Like I did. I was like, oh, I was like, maybe they need to undo it. This is on page 483 before, like, the 485, like, towards the end of everything, like, when we do find out. I was like, maybe uh-huh. they need to do it with the light, with, like, fire from dragons, perhaps. Like, maybe it's, like, I really do think it's actually dragons and not the, like, the, who the fuck cares about writers? Yeah. If it wasn't for dragons, you wouldn't have fucking magic. It's right. like dragons. Yeah. And, bitch, I was right. Rain isn't like, rain, it's flame. I was alright. Dane is also yeah. a certifiable fanboy. <sighs> I don't remember why I said that. Oh. Um. <clears throat> don't tell him I said so. But the way I've heard, he wants to re- uh, reorganize the combat squads by strength since the active riders don't have a full wing to pull from is brilliant. I'll be sure not to tell him. Yeah. And it's like. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you like him. Yeah. He's a good guy. Um, And then, so, okay, page 45. They realize that it's not blood, it's breath. The blood of life is actually the breath of life. The six doesn't refer to riders. They're dragons. Fucking duh. <laughs> First of all. Tell us how they're going to do it. She's like. It no, but I was like, do they have to die? Like, that's what I was wondering. Because that's literally what that I wrote. Yeah. It implies that it's not. Yeah. Because I was like, I was right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound good. Because. And then at the end, she's like, I know how to raise the wars. I'm just not entirely sure we should. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, because, like, do, do the dragons die? Do, like, do they have to sacrifice themselves? Like, right. Do they have to sacrifice the six most powerful, which would be Segale and Taren, would be, like, two of the six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then you lose two of the strongest riders, and... Yeah. To be fair, I think Violet is a strong writer just because of Taryn. Yeah. Well, and because of her intelligence, like, yeah, she's not brute force, but she's got some, like, tactical skill. Yeah. Not that she, like, plans ahead. She usually, like, pulls it out of her ass as she's going along, but don't we all? <laughs> That's... The smart ones, the tactical ones, normally get you killed, dang. Yeah. <laughs> because you got to be able to pivot. You can't yeah. just stick to your plan. If your plan is not going well, you got to pivot. Yeah. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> <laughs> got to be a well-rounded person. You got to be able to roll with the changes. Yeah. 
Oy. Yeah, we and are rolling along. We sure fucking are. Chapter 52. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> okay, this is where we're gonna, you know, hit a landslide, because this is where I talked a lot. <laughs> I wrote Not a Bad Idea, Ree, but I'm trying to, um, remember what I was talking about. Page 486. Hmm... Uh, oh, re asked Reagan to open up her home to kind of like bond everybody. I yes, think. to where the squad and the um drift can get together and like hang out outside of school, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, it's basically uh, Hogsmeade, yeah, it's like a not neutral zone because it's Re's sister, but like. A more neutral zone than the school. Yeah. Um, which is a good idea to like force them to hang out. Mm -hmm. On four eighty seven. Um. There's like a part here where there she like makes a comment about Dane. Um. I'd feel better if someone else quadruple checked the translation, someone other than a rule following Dane, but I'm pretty sure we have it. Otherwise, why would we be here? And I feel like, yes, we had problems with Dane in the past. We understand that there's some issues with him, concerns that maybe he would do what's right, even if it's wrong. However, you didn't give him a chance before and he, even he said that he would have followed you because that was what was right not necessarily what was rule following so yeah. like maybe give him a chance yeah and I talk i wouldn't say like outright give him all of everything but like i would definitely like what if this is how we have to do it? I don't know. I feel like, like I would have probably you... done this the way that Violet did it. Like, talk yeah, to them about it. And I don't I know. But like, would have too, but... talk to them about it. Let them know it's coming. You can leave if you want to, but we're doing it. Like, I think would be my thing. It's it's coming. I'm, I'm giving you a warning. But we're doing See, it. At this, <laughs> at this point... Is that the problem, though? That when they raise the wards, they're not going to be able to use their powers? or I mean, that's what they're talking about right now on page 488. Because from the sounds of things, it like that makes it think that it makes me think that like dragons are going to die. <laughs> right. But I mean, I wouldn't I Here's the thing, though. She, like, talks a lot of shit about Dane, about, like, rule following Dane, and it's like, okay, Dane literally dropped everything he knew once he found out what was happening. Like, right, and he, he like, literally was gonna murder someone for, for you. you, because what this person was doing was not right. What you were doing is right. Like, you can't sit there and say that you're you're muted. I can't hear you. You can blow your nose. Um, it's <laughs> full disclosure. <laughs> um, it's you can't you can't sit there and say that he's rule following. He's not rule following anymore. He dropped his entire life, his entire career to follow you. He dropped his family, his everything to help. Right. What was needed. So. I think that's what really kind of like annoyed me about like this little part right here. It's like, yes, I know Dane is a fucking annoying problem. However, stop saying he's rule following because he's not. He's that right, not anymore. Dropped. Yeah. Yeah, but like I feel like that is a part of who he is. So like he yeah. may be following a different set of rules now, but he is still also a rule follower. I don't know, part of me just doesn't want to defend Dane, so, like, 
<laughs> I mean, we could add, we could put a different adjective to his name, but I think rule following should be taken off of his adjective name. Um. What are they talking about? What are they? Which one? They're talking about the kind of ore that they can imbue that's explosive and yada, yada, yada. Oh, yeah. Are you looking for the name? No, I found it. I was just trying to figure out what they're talking about. So it's called Mayor Site, which is a play on Maori, which is Sloan and Liam's last name. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and then Violet has a nightmare again. And I don't think these are normal nightmares. I don't think so either. I think they're like, I wouldn't say they're premonitions. No, I'm getting they're... Harry Potter, like Voldemort in his head vibes. Like. Yes. I was going to say, I don't think they're premonitions. I think there's something similar, like maybe something that could happen in the future. Yeah. Um, or even like somebody like getting like the sage getting into her head. That's what I yeah. was thinking they were. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. They could be like a mixture of like, trauma based nightmares could be but I don't, so. <laughs> I don't know uh, it, does, it yeah. that doesn't seem likely this is too pointed too specific it, it is yeah I feel like the nightmares would be reliving the same day or like reliving similar situations right like but specifically it's fighting the one venom and then the sage venom yeah, because especially God. like trauma based nightmares, because I have them, are typically recurring. And they're not always exactly the same thing, but they have a recurring theme. Yeah. And most of mine are abandonment um, related. So, I, yeah, I don't feel like these are nightmares, at least not normal nightmares. Mm -mm. And then I didn't say anything else till the very last page of chapter 495. Um, I got something on 494. 494. Um, I put good guy Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> um, because they come back from something or whatever. Yeah. And it sounds like Zayden wasn't going to tell Violet about this and Garrick's like, nope, we're going to open up this communication hole that you need to do because this is how it needs to be done. And Garrick's like, good to see you, Vi. You definitely need to make him tell you about the venom he took down outside Drathus. Like, what? <laughs> Thanks for that, asshole. <laughs> Just doing my part to help your communication skills thrive in a stable relationship. Like, you have any room to talk about stable relationships, image encounters. Now... Remember, Imogen yes. likes Garrick. Yes. So I wonder if there's something there that we don't know about. But yeah, mm. <laughs> I was like, yeah, good guy, Garrick. Look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> um, but yes, we also find out that they are expressive when they talk in each other's minds. Yes. Because everyone's like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So she's like, he's like, you figured out how to raise the wards. And she's like, I hate when you do that. Is my face really that easy to read to me? Yes. Um, we should go now. How long will it take to raise them? And then like, they go back and forth and talk about everything. Um, and he's like, in that case, or she's like, she said dragons. The six most powerful refers to dragons, not writers. And he says, in that case, I can have them up before you get back. She's like, no, you can't. And then that's when Kat's like, are you two fighting silently? And so as they do that. <laughs> and she, he says, just why can't I? And she goes, because you'll need Taryn. And then she leaves. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well. And, and not only that, but she also like patronizingly pats him on the cheek. Like, because you'll need Taryn. <laughs> or maybe I just put that into my head. Is that actually in there? He, she leans up and brushes her lips over his cool cheek. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, in a way. Yeah. Like, because you'll need Taryn. Bye. <laughs> yeah. In my head, she pat him on the cheek. 
because that's that basically so, what she did yeah so patronizing and i'm like yep <laughs> i love that cats like are they fighting silently? <laughs> and then sloan is like yeah they do that <laughs> <laughs> I love it that we have like a Liam equivalent in this book because we never get enough Garrick and we never get enough Riddick, so we we need to have the comedic relief here and yeah, it's not round anymore. So and Liam like was such a heartbreaking thing oh that God, like yeah. they they have to repair our hearts a little bit. Yeah, there was a there was a TikTok not even a tiktok a reel or something like that i was gonna show you or i was gonna send to you and this is gonna take long and we're almost fucking done so i'm gonna take this moment to digress <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna back up a bit and say this um there's a book not a book i don't even know what book it is but this it's a video of this girl reading on a on a train and she <laughs> and she's like towards the end of it and she is just bawling her eyes out <laughs> And someone's like, man, she is fighting. <laughs> and then she like closes the book and she's like wiping her eyes and she's looking around and she sees her friends recording her and she starts laughing, like, like wiping her eyes. <laughs> and then the people in the comment section were was like, man, she put up quite the fight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, yeah, <laughs> and how that's how it be sometimes, <laughs> you know? It, it just happens. She was, like, ugly crying on the train. Like, face just red. Like, hair everywhere. Just going down the face. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I looked when fucking Liam Oh, my God. When, when Zayden <laughs> told her he loved her. <laughs> he yeah. was, like, same. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyways, if I find that, <laughs> I'm gonna you have to send it to me. Okay, <laughs> chapter fifty three. Um, Ugh. this feels like war games. What they're doing it's, here? It's so weird. Um, they're basically pay, playing like capture the flag, kind of. Yeah. Um. But while, wait, okay, on page 500, um, Kat and Sloane are, like, being catty back and forth, and, like, why do I kind of want them to be friends? <laughs> exactly. Like, not against Violet, like, I want them all to be friends, but, like, I want them to be besties. Yeah. I just because love it, though. It's so I funny. I think the more we get to know Kat, the more she's giving Nesta. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't want to like her, but I do. <laughs> well, and there's so... going to be something there, too, about why do you want this power? Like, do you want right. out of this place so much that you are going to grab onto anything to leave, to get anything? Not necessarily, like hans from frozen kind of power <laughs> like i need it because I'm right evil, but like i need it to leave for good to never come back kind of thing right <laughs> or are you like and now that you're out you've just you know you're committing to the bit because you've done it for so long you just don't know how to act yeah like how is it i don't know but I, I kind of want them to be friends, Sloan and Kat specifically. I think it'd be fun. I like it. Also, um, they are talking about how is Violet going to get a second signet? And she's like, I don't know. And Sloan says, second signets only happen when a dragon bonds a rider in the direct familial line as its previous. Um, mm -hmm. And, <laughs> and, Violet, like, 
gravity shifts. That can't be right. That would mean, um, and she's like freaking out now, but we don't know like why. And I'm like, okay, so was Andarna related to her mom's dragon or did her dad have a dragon? Or is her dad not her dad? Or that? Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh. Oh. She claims her dad's the love of her life, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like, what, what, what? And then like very quickly, which Rebecca Yaros is good at this, she very quickly changes the subject and takes us off a whole different direction. Yeah. Um. And so like if you're not really focused on that and if i if we i hadn't taken notes i wouldn't have um i feel like you would forget that and then when mm -hmm. later there's if there if there's a big revelation i don't know i haven't read past what we were reading for today um it will be shocking again um and then reminder this whole time they're in this like war game situation playing couch the flag and they're in this like um like cave. tunnel yeah cave tunnel yeah, system. they're like they're trying to get into this cave because they feel a magical like taryn felt a signature where they thought <clears throat> um where they could find like a chest with a rune in it so they're trying to get into it yeah <clears throat> Um, and then all of a sudden, small because Taryn can't yeah. get into it, but uh, but Andorna can. It's just tight. Yeah. Um. I also really and like then, that Andorna is just such a child because she's so funny. She's hilarious. Her and Sloan together. <laughs> yes. See, this right here is why I don't like you. It's like, hold on, let her finish her thought, and then we can move on. <laughs> yes like i gotta know why <laughs> yes and then all of a sudden another dragon <laughs> um pops up smacks vizia out of the way and she dies because she hits the wall with a crack yeah um and then Taryn is like silver one and all of a sudden um Rising fire is coming up his throat, and she screams in her head, Solus found us. Which, if you don't remember, is Varish's dragon. Here's the thing. I think Jack is going to be a Venon. And I think Varish is going to be a Venon. Why? Why is Varish, why is Solus still alive? I mean, yes, their bond might not have been oh. that strong. Well, that's true. Why yeah. Is, but, 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 why is Sola still alive? If they're yeah. both fucking unhinged, they were, they should have been bonded like so well, 100%. DNA they, extracted. Maybe I they think were. They're both going to be Venom. I, I, we might not see it in this book, but Onyx Storm. Maybe. I also wonder if it's going to be from Zayden's point of view because it's Onyx. Maybe. Or maybe we're going to get like a mix. I have theories. I'm already doing theories. <laughs> I have theories, but I don't want to say them because of the spoiler that I read um, before we even started fucking reading. Um, so I'm not going to say my theories right now, but once we get to that part, I will say them. You might even have the same ones once you get to that part. Same theories? Or yeah. Spoilers. The same theories. Oh, okay. Um Girl, we only got two chap two episodes left. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't come to it yet. It has not happened. <gasps> My guess is it's probably gonna be very close to the end. Because it's, it's probably big. Gonna be the last exactly like the last fucking chapter in like Zayden's Brennan being chapter. alive. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's um Zayden's got a chapter. It's the very last chapter. It's probably his oh, okay. chapter. Maybe, I don't know. That bitch. <laughs> she likes that to do that. 
bitch. Fucking authors. We love them. I hate you. I love you, but I hate you. So <laughs> Chapter 54. I'm also on my period, so I'm hurting right now <laughs> more than one ways. Emotionally and physically. Um listen, I don't so say one thing. <laughs> chapter 54. The first thing there there was a blurb from a couple chapters ago that said something about a siphon. Is that what Sloan is? I think so. Because she where is it where does it say it cat screams like you're you're siphoning or you're taking my power or something like yeah that. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah um, on 505 she says let me go you're you're draining my power yeah and then cat or uh violet's like what the fuck yeah um and violet blind solace in the fight and then darna is fighting solace um and cat joins in and starts knocking arrows at him and hitting the same spot left and right until um everything kind of um everyone kind of escapes but Vizia and then Indarna is still in the cave fighting yeah that's basically what this entire episode or this entire this whole chapter was. yeah and like the fight with Solus. the part that I, one thing. I wrote I wrote it Sloan on page 507 and I was like what the fuck but it's because the harder um Violet says she screams Indarna and then she goes, I claw at Sloane's grip, but the harder I fight, the weaker I feel. And the unsufferable heat of my power lessens as Sloane starts to scream, letting me fall to the ground. Because it's Sloane. That's why she's feeling weaker. And then I said, what a stopping point on page 509. Oh, yeah. It's it's really fucked up, too, because uh, it kudos to Indarna. Indarna walks out of that cave a fucking victorious glorious yep killing solace not necessarily alone but she got the final blow they go home zayden's pissed burst into the door finds cat right where he would sit while she's getting meant while violet's getting mended and he's like what the fuck yeah and finds out Kat stayed until she's like healed because she saved Kat's life and that was like the debt repaid kind of thing and this weird triangle drama bullshit that was happening. Yeah. Um and then they start arguing again. Always. And then he's like <laughs> He says, You're alive. And she goes, so my heartbeat says. And he said, good, now we can fight. What the fuck were you thinking? Saving Cat? <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm sorry, you, you're you mad at me? I fight my way out of a cave against a dragon and you're mad at me. I'm for saving a woman in the line of succession to the throne of Peromial. You saved Cat because she's third in line? First, I would have fought to save anyone. You're selfless reckless and second her death would have triggered yours so hell yes i saved her takaris would have had you executed if she died under your care unfucking believable you hate her and yet you refuse to raise the wards no doubt so her power won't be stripped away and then you put your life in front of hers for you all i want is you if she dies then i'll take the consequences if they can't channel i'll take those consequences too but not you never you gods violet I am doing everything in my power to both respect your freedom and keep you safe. And your, he shakes his head. I don't even know what you're doing. Keep me safe. I laugh, sarcasm biting into my eyes and making them uh, sting. Is that what you do? I get it all mixed up with just not killing me. 
There it is. He retreats until his back hits the wall, and then he folds his arms and leans against it, crossing an ankle casually. You finally ready to ask me about the deal I made with your mother? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I made a deal with Mommy Dearest, and I completely forgot about it. But like now, of all times, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> right now, now you want to talk about it? Okay, we probably should have already talked about it. Just saying. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I was really kind of, and I also here's the thing. I was a little tired, <laughs> um, because we had, I had a couple of days off. We had been staying up until like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> games. Like we have not been sleeping right. Um, and we didn't sleep in as long as we did yesterday. And um, we went and had an early dinner. We were going to go see a movie, but the movie wasn't until like 940. And it was like eight o'clock and I was fucking tired and ready to go to bed <laughs> at this point. So I read this last chapter last night, so I was probably a little delirious trying to, like, save my energy. But I was really, I was like, this is a weird time to bring this up. <laughs> like, now you're finally ready to ask about this? Like, hold on, she didn't ask anything about this. Who said no, she was ready? But she did say, um, I get it all mixed up with just not killing me. Because clearly there's some, like, reserved... I don't know, insecurity in her head there about yeah. him wanting to kill her. True. Okay. I get it, but still. Yeah. So that's the end of that that episode. We're just now you gotta wait until the next one oh, to oh, figure oh. out what happens. Bum, bum. But yeah. Yay. So Yay. until next time. Bye.